In this video I'll be showing you how to download and install mods for your Sonic Adventure DX. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Sonic Adventure DX onto your Steam, but I'm assuming that's common knowledge. Another thing that I want to throw in there is I don't know if this is going to work on anything else other than Steam, so I would recommend that you get it on Steam. It is only a couple of pounds if you really want to go there, or a few dollars. I think it was like £5.60 or something like that for me, which really wasn't too cheap, but I can't confirm if this works anywhere other than Steam, so I would recommend if you want to install your mods and stuff, to get it through Steam if you can. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to the links that are in the description after you've downloaded and installed Sonic, obviously. What you're going to want to do before you do anything is when you're running to play it, just make sure that you've configured it and you've done everything you need to do with your graphics first. I've got a little bit of a start, a head start here, just because I've configured it before. Now make sure you've configured it, like I said, just to make sure everything plays correctly. Follow the first link that's in the description, which should take you to the mod managers page, and then download the mod manager from there. I clicked on this bottom one here, this SADX mod installer, the complete package for offline use. The difference between the two of them? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. Now, I only chose the second one because it does give you updates every Sunday night, if it does have any updates waiting, obviously. So by all means, go for that one. Try the web version if you really want to, but I would recommend you use the SADX mod installer, the one for offline use. Save this anywhere. It doesn't matter where you save it at the moment. I'll just save mine to my desktop. It will take some time to download, but as soon as it's done, I'll be back with you. Once it's downloaded and it's finished there, just open the containing folder and it should show you where it is in your directories. Uh, your mod manager should be sitting here, just double click on that and I'm going to throw one out the window any second now. Uh, just bring the mod manager screen up to the right and then go into your Sonic Adventure on the left and go on to the browse local files if you can. And then once you're done with that, just have the screens parallel to each other here and then drag in the files that you've just downloaded, so your SADX mod setup and that other little folder and drag that into the directory that the Sonic Adventure DX has saved. This will take a couple of minutes, so be patient with it. Once that's done, you can run the setup for the mod manager, which is now here. And now, the way that they've laid this out is a lot better than the Sonic Adventure 2 one. Once you've got this nice little welcome screen that they give you, just hit next, continue, check for updates because you always want the newest version, and then save it again. It should be the same directory because we put the folder, the extracted folder, into the Sonic Adventure DX directory, which is local disk, Steam library, Steam apps, common, then Sonic Adventure DX. That should be the same as the destination folder for your mod installer, so just make sure that that is the same. As long as it is the same, click next and then do guide mode. This is really cool actually, I do prefer this method to the Sonic Adventure 2 one. It shows you all these different things and what they do to your game. If you like the way they look, just click next with them ticked installed. Do the same for all of them, the water one is really nice. I prefer the more modern models here as well. And obviously the motion blur on, because you go fast. HDGUI and you can install the sound overhaul supersonic mod or the DLC for like holiday events and stuff like that if you want to do that too. If you want to install any of them just click next. You can install a couple of other things here as well if that is up your street and then just click next on the, these guys as well. This should take probably a couple of minutes for this to do this but I'll be back with you once it is finished. Now that we're done here, don't run Sonic Adventure DX, run the mod manager first and then click finish. Once that's done, it should look like this little guy here, that's, that's what it is in the folder if you're curious, but it will pop this guy up if you clicked on open the mod manager after the install was done. You've got quite a few codes here that you can go through, again this is total personal preference, the only thing that I would note here is if you've got any mods like a costume overhaul or anything like that and you have 
couple of different costume overhauls, they're gonna be negating each other. It could be the latest one that you've got on, so the one nearer the top might be the one that overhauls the other ones, or it may be the ones near the bottom. But again, go through these, make sure you've only got a couple of mods on that you're looking for, if there's any duplicate ones or any double character model things, then you're gonna wanna make sure you've only got one character model changer on, or you're probably going to have the default or only one of them active. So take off the mods that you don't want, keep on the ones that you do want, and you've got some options in your codes as well which you can add if you really want to. You don't need to, of course, if you do want to use any of the codes then by all means select them. Uh, I'd say they're pretty nifty, but once you're done you can click save. And then once you've saved, you can back out of all of that and go into the mods folder. So if you want to download any other mods to your mod manager, you just click on the link in the description which takes you to Game Banana. Uh, we've got a little one up the top here which is the SEDX HD title. I'm going to use this one here and I'm just going to install this one and I'll show you how to do this and again just as an example first of all the only issue with this is when you click on downloading it through the mod loader I always get this error always go to manual download in this case you guys might have a better time than me with this right enough but if you have the same as me just manual download it and again save this wherever it doesn't matter it only matters where you extract your files to so bring up the folder that you just downloaded which is the HD title screen here and pop open in the left hand side if you can, this is just to make it a little bit better. Go into the mods folder that's in the SADX directory and then drag over the files that are in the zipped file that you just downloaded, so the SADX title. You want to just drag that over into the mods folder and then that will add it to your mod manager here as well. And I'll just show you that just now. Just get rid of all this that I don't need at the moment. jump into here and then click on refresh and then you should see down the bottom that it's added in the mod that we just downloaded or any mod that you've just downloaded as well. So you can tick that on if you want to, just as an example we'll be showing you here today anyway. Once you're done with that, click save if you've got all the stuff on that you need, add a couple of codes in as well. Again the more stuff you have on the more issues you're probably going to have with frame rate and latency and stuff like that. So try and not have every single mod in the world on at the same time, especially if you're running a kind of lower end PC. The next step you want to do once you're done and click save is literally just open in your Sonic Adventure DX now, because that's pretty much done and ready to go. I'll show you a couple of these things in action. Once you've booted up here, you just, again, there's my HD screen there, just so that we're all aware of what it looks like. And then dive into the save. I've got one on that's one of the better mods, actually, that I kind of like. It's like hold A for basically super jump, and you can just float through the air, which I think is pretty nifty. And I'll show you that one in action here. This is just one of the codes, but you'll see some of the texture changes that we've put into here as well. That, again, they're pretty cool additions to the, to the game as a whole. So straight off the bat, we're already flying, which I think is pretty cool. I like the traversal with this. It does kind of create a couple of issues though with the levels and all that, but you'll notice that once you get into it. So I'm going to put up a little mission here, it's just a little boss fight with Eggman to show you some of the mods in action. It's really just some codes and stuff that I've got on just now, a couple of texture changes but nothing too heavy, nothing that's really going to break my PC or anything like that. Even when you're during a cutscene you can use some of the mods which I think is kind of pretty hilarious. Eggman, oh, there he is, <laughs> there he is. So the first thing that I would say just in reference to the order of your mods and stuff like that, we're pretty much done with the video anyway. You guys can go and play your Sonic and add the mods, but if you're still hanging around, I'd pay attention to the order of your mods. Because if you put on like a character costume, or you put on like certain character costumes, and then you put on say an override mod that like overhauls all the textures of the game, 
you're not going to get the costume that you put on first because the overhaul mod is going to overhaul that. So you want to put on the overhaul, any textures and stuff first and then any individual character costumes and stuff, put that on last so they get added on top of the overhaul mods, if you know what I mean. But I'll let this little boss fight play out and again, it's very, very simple stuff that I've got on here. I've got my super jump, infinite rings, my low time, a couple of texture changes and stuff. But again, I think it's looking pretty good. And if you guys have got any questions on how to do this yourselves and how to mod and how anything like that, by all means, leave it in the comments down below. I've been keeping the tabs on my Sonic Adventure 2 one and I'll do the same with this one. If anyone's got any issues, any questions with how to mod it, by all means, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I do reply to comments every single day. So if you do have any issues, by all means, please just let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. If you've got any questions, like I said, I'll leave it down below. If you want to see more Sonic stuff, subscribe, like the video if it helped you. But again, no sweat if you don't want to. That's fine. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.